Hi, Ashland football fans. This is head coach Charlie Hall. We appreciate you checking the Ashland Football Club website for this week's uh, review and preview. Let's go back last week. We were up in Eugene, Oregon. We appreciate all the fans that traveled in the, in the wet, cold day up there. And uh, as we had a nice 51-21 uh, to 21 win. It was kind of a hard-fought win for us. We had some kids get nicked up and uh, just try to healing this week as we get ready for a huge game against the Springfield My uh, Millers for an opportunity to take control of the, uh, the championship race. Uh, let's just go back again last week and look at our players of the week. A couple of key players, uh, performances were turned, on, turned in by our players. One on the offensive side of the ball, Ryan Robitz, was recognized for his physical running on the offensive side of the ball. Did a great job, had 80 yards rushing, but uh, every one of those yards were pretty hard fought. Defensively, Joe Hearn had a great evening, had two sacks, uh, six tackles, and was very disruptive in the, in the Churchill backfield as they tried to, to throw their way around all night. So Joe was in, in hot pursuit of the quarterback and, uh, and really enjoyed it. one of his best games as a Grizzly defensive lineman. Uh, our special teams did a great job, and uh, they've been doing a great job all year. Sashi Penn, our sophomore re punt returner, uh, scored his second touchdown of the year on punt return. Had a nice run for about 38 yards uh, in, the in the second quarter there, and uh, had, had a lot of good, good blocking. And Mason Dow is uh, doing a great job for us in special teams. Mason had multiple tackles in special teams, and uh, those guys are recognized for their effort in special teams. Our lineman of the week this week is uh, as a co-lineman award being awarded to both Nate Carver and Yvonne Tegui. This is Nate's second uh, consecutive award as a lineman of the week and doing a great job for us uh, as our center on the offensive side of the ball. Our scout team player of the week was Kyle Weinberg. Kyle has done a great job giving our defense the look of what the quarterbacks do, and last week it was very important uh, because their quarterback was very athletic and very mobile and scrambled around and made plays, and he tried to re replicate that during our practice sessions and did a great job. So uh, Kyle's doing a great job this week as well because we're getting ready to face a, an equally dangerous uh, and very, very uh, potent quarterback in, uh, in the quarterback from Spring Springfield. And, uh, and we just hope that, you know, he can give us that look that Trevor Watson is going to give us on, on Friday night. So uh, Mr. Watson comes in here leading a, a very talented Springfield offense. Uh, he himself is a great athlete. They run option where he gets to keep the ball. He's a great passer. He's very accurate. And he's only a sophomore. And so we definitely have our hands full. We had our hands full last year with him when he was a freshman quarterback at the varsity level. And uh, really, I thought, had a dominant performance last year up there in Springfield. So we're hoping to turn the tides, but it will not be an easy task. He's got some great weapons around him. Taylor Travers is, a, is an outstanding athlete, maybe one of the best athletes in our conference. He's out of the Austin Baird mold, who we remember from last year from the Marist, from the Marist High School. And, and Taylor's a, a great athlete that plays slot receiver. He also plays running back. He can run the ball. He can catch the ball. Uh, I'm sure if they had him throw the ball, they would, but they got a pretty good quarterback. So uh, he's an excellent defensive player. He was the co-defensive player of the year last year in the conference, sharing that honor with Mason Montgomery. So he's going to be a great challenge for us to stop on our, for, by our defense. And then on our offense, we've got to do a good job of taking care of the football and not putting it up in the air where he can uh, come down with another one of his, his key interceptions. I think last year he had uh, over 10 interceptions in our conference. So very good player. But there's other players that are really talented. they got some big kids on their team. Uh, Jordan Haas is a, a college prospect for them, plays right tackle. And he's 6'5", 290 pounds. So he will be a big boy that we need to contend with with our defensive line. He also plays some defense. and plays nose guard at time. There's another nose guard. Uh, Tag worker also plays a nose guard. He's 5'11", 290 pounds. So, you know, these guys are, you know, 70 and, and over 100 pounds bigger than some of our kids that we're playing. So we got to use our quickness. we got to have great technique. And, and we got to come out and play really well tomorrow night, much like we did against Marist a couple weeks ago. So uh, it's been a, a tough week of practice. We've had some kids sick. The weather's been not been very good. So it's been a muddy, sloppy practice. So those things aside, it's going to be a big game tomorrow night. So we're looking forward for the Ashland community, the Ashland student body to come out and support the Grizzlies in a huge game. And the winner certainly has, a, has an opportunity to, to take the, uh, the Midwestern Conference crown. And uh, it's been a great year for us so far. We appreciate the support by our community. We appreciate the support by the Ashland Football Club. Uh, we certainly couldn't have the quality of trips on the road without their support. And uh, just looking for a great game on uh, tomorrow night. So come on down to the stadium and go Grizz.